Hello, I'm Brandon from Kansas City. I'm a lifelong Republican. In fact, I've been registered Republican since I could vote at 18 years old. I've been active in Republican politics for many years, going back to when I was elected president of my college Republicans chapter and when I served as president of the Kansas Young Republican State Federation. I've worked on numerous Republican political campaigns at both the local, state, and federal levels, and I've served as a staffer to a U.S. Senator. I did not vote for Donald Trump for president in 2016, but I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton either. This year, I am proud to support Joe Biden for president. Donald Trump has debased the American presidency. He has completely eroded our democratic norms, values, and institutions in his pursuit of an imperial presidency, accountable to no one. And that's been made clear in how his administration has flaunted checks and balances, openly defying Congress and the courts at every opportunity. He has set back the rule of law for decades, and he's trafficked in a toxic blend of nationalism, populism, and xenophobia that doesn't represent traditional conservatism, and it doesn't represent the Republican Party that I came of age in, the Republican Party of Lincoln, of Teddy Roosevelt, of Eisenhower, Kansas's native son, of Ronald Reagan and George H.W. Bush. Trump has completely threatened the stability of the post-World War II global order and our existing transatlantic alliances, not the least of which being NATO, whose future is completely uncertain. In the process of dismantling NATO, he has enabled foes like China and Russia to fill the void left by the lack of America's leadership and America's retreat from the global stage. Joe Biden will restore America's standing in the world. He will rebuild our alliances with key allies. He will also restore the rule of law and respect the separation of powers and checks and balances between Congress, the presidency, and the courts. For these reasons and more, I am happy to support Joe Biden for president.